and oh yeah speaking of rice um, next to my other genius things I love about Malaysia it's got the rice there they got the white rice they got the black rice they got the pink rice they got the blue rice yo that thing is creative that's a creative way of encouraging genius things I absolutely love about Malaysia So we've got a photo there because it's very windy and I'm literally recording this video in public. It's not easy though, people walking by, they're gonna look at me, they're gonna be like, wow, this guy is going crazy. But anyway, if you're new to this channel, slap a like and subscribe right now. Of course, I'm not really the control on social media like Instagram at the moment, but if you absolutely love my content, then of course, man, give me a follow. And of course, man, ask me a question. But anyways, enough of my plugin, 10 genius things I absolutely love about Malaysia. So the first thing is, The Badet Spray. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but please correct me in the comment down below. Right, so the Badet Spray is like literally in Western country, we literally laugh that thing out from the very beginning. We'll be like, ah, oh, that thing is absolutely disgusting, man. Hell no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna spray my bum bum after I finish my business. Hell no, man. Hell out my face. Let me tell you, right? I think the, the Badet Spray is absolutely genius. You know why? Because it just makes your bum much cleaner, you know what I mean? So after, of course, man, you're eating throughout the day. Sorry for the wind noise then. Of course, man, the car passing by. Better ways than people walking past as well. Can you see them? So pretty much like, I love the product spray. You know what, yeah? Literally, it's just, it's just a little bit tiggly. Imagine going to the toilet and then you spray your bum bum. I think come out with so much force. Like, it's so tiggly, man. Bloody hell. But I absolutely love it, man. I think it's absolutely fantastic way of cleaning yourself after you finish your business. It's really, really, really inventive. I love it. I think you can also find it in Singapore because Malaysia and Singapore is very close by. But I, I, I wish we have it here in the UK so we can absolutely reduce the amount of tissue paper we use. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think you can, you can save you a lot of money. Literally, if you're on a budget, Use the butter spray or go to Malaysia and go and use it there, I promise you, yeah? So by the time you get back home, yeah man, you're yeah, gonna be healthy. <laughs> so yeah, man, so the butter spray, I absolutely love it, man. So the next thing I find absolutely genius, it's like the Oka Center. So the Oka Center is where like you can find multiple cup like multiple dishes yeah, like from different culture so because malaysia is blessed with uh, the, the the malay the indian the the chinese so so that means that you can find food from various cultural backgrounds so which is absolutely fantastic man so all in one place so you don't need to go say like here in the uk say if you want something really you want the best like the best of thai food so it's pretty much spread out or the best of malaysian food spread out across the city which can be time consuming like traveling around and which is not really cool but like the occupants are finding absolutely genius idea man so all the food in one place delicious food and cheap food as well i think that is the absolute plus man so if you go to malaysia don't miss that out go, and go to the office center and you can find all the food you're craving for it's absolutely there man i, I love the office center i ain't gonna lie to you i love going to that place man because like i'm just there like just sitting down just sitting down looking at people enjoying food man it's absolutely satisfying to me so of course man the office center is a plus I think that's a genius thing man i wish you go ahead i think we do have it but it's not as regular so that office center is every single day literally every single day you go you can find food delicious food so which is an absolutely plus man love it love 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 it know why we don't have 7-eleven why we don't have 7-eleven here in the uk man i really need to research on that i don't know why 
I just love it, man. I think it's a genius thing. 24 7, you can access like 7 Eleven. If you want a bit of drink or snack, then doing like they say, like 2 in the morning, of course, they can go there. And they got some little stores as well that sell food. Yo, it's not here in the UK. Nah, it's nothing like that, literally. Or else you go to those little chicken shitty shop after you go to the club and get drunk and then you try something that is not really really that nice and it's very very expensive as well oh my god it's so windy i feel like i'm a, i'm about to fly i believe i can fly so tipping is not a big thing here so yeah that's a good thing but the thing is that most people actually expect like if they give them a proper good service they expect them to at least like tip them a little bit but in malaysia there it's a no-no even if you tip someone like you just want to be like genuine and you want to be a nice person a good samaritan because you appreciate the service you receive i tell you what they're not going to accept that at all literally everywhere you go in malaysia it's just like the people that's the way it is man so for tipping it's out of the picture and it's a genius thing man i wish this thing actually can can be implemented in america because i used to live in america as well oh my god man I used to be a, a little bit vexed man when I go to the when I go to the restaurants like I don't even want to smile to the waiter because I know the waitress they want me to tip them so literally it was a very different experience for me when I when I first touched in America I don't want to tip because I'm not used to tipping so like in America that people walk towards tip so like in Malaysia it's totally different so in the UK it's not a big thing but at least like if someone actually got an extra money to do you a, a little bit of favor maybe they might expect a little bit of change like you know what to compensate them of their little effort like to make you feel more satisfied but in, the, in Malaysia no matter what people are just genuinely nice friendly great service and yeah man no tipping oh my god that is the place man so if you're looking if you're on a budget traveling and you want to try some delicious food and you don't want to tip the waiter or the waitress then go to Malaysia <laughs> go to Malaysia go to Malaysia literally go there you can stay there for free bloody month free for free free for free you know you're not gonna pay for no visa for free month uh, that is absolutely the language you can hear right that's the language you can speak that's the language you can hear properly but yeah free month man absolutely love that man that is an absolute bonus man so if you're a budget traveler and you absolutely love malaysia and you want to try more food so free month you got a lot of stay man so only if you are english and you got a british passport then you can qualify for that so i don't know about other nationality i think other nationality can stay for a bit a long time as well so for us oh my god that's why i want to go back to malaysia so this time i'm going to go to malaysia i'm going to spend at least close to one and a half month there so it's going to be yeah i'm coming i am coming so follow me right now on my instagram right down below right pause this video and follow me give me a quick follow if you want to you just contact me right drop me a dm and of course my let's chat about things you know what i mean recommend me places that i need to visit when i'm in malaysia and i promise you i'll reply to your message i promise you i'll reply no matter what right so another genius thing is people eat with their hands i found that really really creative and genius man so the more you, you eat with your hand eat it let's say you're eating rice right they call it nasi or you're eating a nasi lama with the chicken or the ayam yeah you eat it with your hands man you are you can easily mix all the the ingredients all the the sauce are all the, the little flavor things all together and then you bite it into that put it in your mouth and then you bite it into that it's absolutely a delight man so i think that is a genius way of eating man downside about it is like of course man your hand's gonna get a bit sticky but after you wash it and of course man you've got a clean hand as well so yeah man make sure you eat with your right hand as well and people the locals tend to appreciate you more they tend to love you because like you are absolutely um like but you're experiencing the culture at the same time you know what i mean and they're gonna be like wow man you are here not just for like taking instagram photos and post it and trying to be fake but you're absolutely like trying things like it's genuinely authentic and that is yeah that is cool man yeah it's for you not, gonna, not just for the locals it will benefit you in the long run as well man so from now on i think i'm gonna try to eat with my aunt every single day and oh yeah speaking of rice and uh, next to my other genius things i love about malaysia isn't the rice there they got the white rice they got the black rice they got the pink rice they got the blue rice 
Yo, that thing is creative. That's a creative way of encouraging like people to try more rice, to eat more rice. Westerners don't tend to eat a lot of rice. No, like breakfast. Yeah, breakfast in the morning in Southeast Asia is mad, man. It's so heavy. It's so big. So, like, of course, man, like, every single day when I woke up in the morning, like, when I was in Singapore in Malaysia, yeah, man, I would eat the chicken rice or I would eat the nasi lemak and I, or I would, eat, I would eat anything related about rice, yeah. And, of course, man, and next to my other, like, genius thing about, I like about Malaysia, you see, in Western country, they got McDonald's, but our McDonald's there is totally, I'll, I'll say UK McDonald's is shit man, I ain't gonna lie to no one like Our portion size is terrible man, like the way they package things is just so bad But you know what, people tend to love it as well, you know what I mean Like that's the way we, we, we tend to do things there, you know what I mean I love my country, right, I love it, you know what I mean But when it comes to food, and especially fast food like McDonald's, KFC um, it's, it's, not, it's not really like my cup of tea, you know what I mean But some people tend to like it, but in Malaysia like if you go to McDonald's, you can find rice there. Your rice in the menu. McDonald's rice in the menu, man. You can find the local. They put the local on flavor into like the McDonald's. Absolutely encouraging the locals to go and try like a Western chain business, like way of like eating in a Western way and getting a little bit fat. So McDonald's, I wouldn't recommend anyone to go there and eat every single day. But you know what? And in terms of like variety of things you can find in McDonald's, but of course, man, I think it's a plus, man. Absolutely love that. The spaghetti in the menu as well. Yo, that's that, that's that thing is strange, but I tell you what, once you try it, it's absolutely delicious. It's so windy, literally so windy. I'm actually tired of sitting down, man. So my last two points is like, I found absolutely genius about Malaysia. All oh, right, let me tell you, right? So Malaysia is an absolutely big country. It's so big, man. It's gigantic, right? So if you're in the city, Kuala Lumpur, and you want to go to like, see, you want to find more food, you want to get from like, to the touristy area. So literally, like, I think Grab is the way to go. And the thing I found genius about Grab is like, you're not just gonna get right, but you can get right about grab share. So if someone is going the same direction as you, so you can use like a, a grab app like to share with that person. You can split the price as well. So you're not gonna pay that much. You can use grab car as well if you want a privacy or you want to drive by yourself and stuff like that. You can use it. And within the same app, you can order food as well on grab. So I don't think you can find that on Uber. So you can order food like literally deliver to your hotel. Literally that is a good thing, man. And the more you use the grab app, you're gonna get a gold star. So if you use it regularly, literally you're gonna get gold star. So that, that means is that you can you can use that gold star if you want to ride. So like I so said, the very moments that you order a grab, like literally the driver will come to your doorstep, literally instantly, straight away. So that is the bonus of using the grab uh, if you got a gold star. So and of course, by the more you use it, you can gain some points as well, reward points. So which you can use to get a free ride. And finally, I just found the Malaysian language so bloody sexy. It was so sexy, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, say in the morning, the way they say greeting, the little words, you know what I mean? So, in, saying good morning means like Salma Paji, Salma Paji, y'all, Salma Paji, and then saying good night, Salma Malan, you know what I mean? So, you want to say good night to your lover, or your sweetheart, or your girlfriend, or your, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, or your side chick. So, of course, man, you can say, hey, yo, babe, Salma Malan, you know what I mean, Salma Malan, of course, man. Spicy, if something is so spicy, instead of saying, ah, oh, this is so hot, you can say, ah, this is so badass. <laughs> it's so badass, yo. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think that is bloody sexy, man. From now on, I'm not going to say spicy. I always just say, like, hey, my God, this thing is badass. <laughs> it's so badass. So, and of course, man, they call pig, Bambi. Woo, Bambi. And they call it Dan. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to say an anymore. I'm going to say Dan. Hey, Dan. It's just cool man anyway so yeah that's it man so if you absolutely enjoyed this video then do me one favor sorry for the wind noise or the background noise right now as you can hear people are cleaning the streets or whatever is going behind me i can't see it but anyway so um yeah if you if you absolutely love this video and you like the, if you like me you want to see more of this chocolate man snap a like like i'm not going to be posting every thursday right so i'm only going to be posting like instead of posting every monday and thursday i'm only going to post one video per week so I'm very sorry for that. But once I go to Southeast Asia, once I get to Southeast Asia, like in September on the 25th, literally I'll get back to my regular schedule. So I'll be posting every Monday and Thursday, same time, UK time, 1 p.m. 
so yeah man and yeah that's what i do so when i come to southeast asia there's gonna be so many cool videos man i can't wait but right now i just need to save up a lot of money so those are 10 things i found genius about malaysia